Tonight, a controversial arrest beginning to go viral on social media. It's a photo of Galveston police officers on horseback leading a cuffed black man with what appears to be a rope. Channel 2's Jacob Rascone live tonight to explain. Jacob? First of all, family, <laughs> this being when to come back to another video. Now, you just know, you just seeing what they posted on the television. Isn't it kind of coincidental that a story like this would come out days after uh, President Trump just pretty much said white nationalism and white supremacy should be, you know, addressed. But then you'll show a story like this. Now, family, I'm in Texas. Well, this incident is happening. It's happening right here in Galveston. It's the you know, a beach area right here in Texas, outside of Houston, south of Houston. And, of course, you've seen the man <coughs> being escorted like Django Unchained, but chained. This isn't an accident, family. Okay? Let's get into it. Now, Dominique, the Galveston police chief is apologizing tonight. The department is doing away with the practice of mounted police escorting handcuffed suspects using a line or a rope. First of all, when have we ever... I've been in Houston almost 30 years. I don't ever remember no one, and I've been to Galveston many times, I've never heard anyone say that this is protocol for mounted police officers to arrest someone, handcuff him, tie a rope to the handcuffs, and then walk him down the street? Are you still like an animal? I promise you, fam, this could never, ever, ever happen to another ethnicity. It's really ridiculous, fam. I tell you, we are POWs. Don't fall for it. It's a definite um, divide and conquer ploy by the media, by the, by the <laughs> United States, which is ridiculous, because why would this be a story? I digress. The family attorney of the man arrested says the man is bipolar and homeless. In fact, the family had been looking for him for years. Stop. If the man is bipolar, okay, that means he has some psycho psychiatric uh, disorder, right? As a police officer, you trying to tell me that when those guys spoke with that guy, they didn't know that? You trying to tell me you don't have radios that you can call into a cop car, an additional vehicle to transport him to the proper location but no you will walk him down the street like that come on man i digress the photos show galveston police officers broch and smith on horseback escorting 43 year old donald neely using a rope attorney melissa morris represents the family i'm appalled i believe that the um the way that they handled him is disgusting and the family is offended the family is um Upset. Neely had been warned several times not to trespass at a certain building, but did anyway, the police chief said. The officers handcuffed him, clipped a rope to the cuffs, and escorted Neely to a staging area a couple of blocks away. Disgusting and unnecessary, one person commented. Inhumane, wrote another. But some disagreed. This is common protocol, one person wrote. I'm not seeing the controversy. Stop. This is common protocol. I'm not seeing the controversy. Okay, that's your son, your nephew, your mother, your father, okay, being handled like that and you don't see anything wrong with it? Come on, man, that's a troll. I digress. Someone just happened to be driving by and saw this and was so, like, upset at the way that it looked. Just, just the humiliating nature of the way that he was arrested. First and Family, if I'm, you know, new to this country, and I'm new to Texas, and I go to Galveston, and I see this. I see two cops on horses walking a man in handcuffs, an Afro-melanated man in handcuffs with a rope tied to him. I'm going to think this was back in the 1800s. What the hell is going on, family? All right? I digress. Now, this comment here is from the uh, police chief. Let's see what he says. And foremost, I must apologize to Mr. Neely for this unnecessary embarrassment, the police chief said in a statement. He called what happened a trained technique used in some scenarios, but added, I believe our officers showed poor judgment and could have waited for a transport unit. He insisted his officers had no malicious intent, 
But we have immediately changed the policy, he wrote, to prevent the use of this technique and will review all mounted training and procedures for more appropriate methods. Wow. He don't think that the officers were being malicious or had any ill intent at all. Walking a man down the street in between two horses, mind you, handcuffed with a rope. They don't see anything malicious or, or anything malcontent about that at all, huh? Okay. All right, family, like I said, it's being willing to come back with another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. In the meantime, between time, in the most high society, bring you joy. And being willing is out of 5,000.